Kumusta ka? Ako si Sally. Hello, how are you? My name is Sally and welcome to Sally Spills the Beans. On today's episode, I will be teaching you how to make this delicious soup right here called Mongo Bean Sabao, also known as Mongo Bean Soup, Filipino style. Are you ready? Let's get started. Also, my very special and inspiring friend Cash will be joining us today. The ingredients to this recipe are 2 cups of dry mongo beans and 6 cups of water. I truly apologize for not taking a picture of my package of mongo beans. I got so excited, I added 2 cups of dry mongo beans and I threw away my package. You will also need 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil, half an onion, diced, 3 cloves of garlic, 2 medium tomatoes chopped, 1 bunch of fresh spinach, and 1 can of coconut milk. Optional ingredients are chicken bouillon and veggie chicken. The first step is to rinse the beans in cold running water until the water runs clear and drain well. In a large pot, combine the mongo beans and water. Bring the water to a boil over medium heat. Skim off any froth that floats on the top. Lower the heat, cover, and continue cooking for about 45 to 50 minutes or until the beans have softened. Add about two more cups of water if needed. While the mongo beans are cooking, you will use this time to cook and prepare the remaining ingredients. First, mince the garlic and chop the onion. Next, rinse the spinach and remove its stem. Then, rinse and chop the tomatoes. Thank you. Why is this so good, Sally? Look cooking. Growing up, my mom would add chicken to her mongo beans, so I decided to add in veggie chicken to this recipe. Chop the veggie chicken into 1 inch pieces or sizes you desire. Then, add it to the pan and cook the veggie chicken thoroughly. Next, Prepare the veggie chicken bouillon broth by adding one piece of bouillon into one to two cups of water, or as instructed on your veggie chicken bouillon. Afterwards, add the chicken bouillon broth to the pan and simmer it with the onion, garlic, and chicken all together. In this next step, pour in one can of coconut milk to the pot of mongo beans. I truly apologize, I got too excited once again, but here's the next step. Carefully transfer this beautiful concoction of onion, garlic, veggie chicken, and chicken bouillon broth to the pot. Mm, look at that. So good. I'm so excited. Then you can give it a nice mix, a nice stir, and say, mm, mm, mm. Mongo beans, sabao, mongo beans, soup. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I am pretty excited about this recipe and for you to actually make it. So what you're going to do is let it sit a little bit, let it simmer, and then you will add the remaining ingredients. These remaining ingredients are the chopped tomatoes and spinach. You will add the chopped tomatoes and spinach, then turn off the heat. Cover the pot for about 1 to 2 minutes or until the spinach is wilted. We are almost to the last step of making this delicious recipe, mongo beans. You will taste the mongo beans. Add one piece of chicken bouillon if your soup is not tasty enough. Congratulations friends, you have reached the final step that you have been waiting for. It is time to taste and see that the Lord is good. It is time for you to say ka in tayo, which means time to eat. Go call your ka familia, your nana, tata, lolo, lola, ate, kuya, adi, your kaibigan, your friends. This is your family, your neighbors. Or you could also enjoy the mongo beans by yourself. Serve the mongo bean sabao or mongo bean soup with a serving of brown rice. And there you have it, friends, mongo beans. I decided to share the mongo beans with my friend Cash and she was very helpful in cooking the rice as well as helping me with the lighting and recording. Let's see what she has to say. So good. 
It's okay, you actually just might need to get crying in the video. <laughs> I literally, I'm, I'm home. It's just bringing me like, nostalgia. Like it's giving me like, memories right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below and let me know how this recipe went for you. See you next time on Sally Spills the Beans. Take care and God bless.